Right folks, some Aprilia news. Let's get a bit of a choking on. There we go. Cold start, nice. Um, all the lights are working. I will uh, demonstrate. There we go. Anyway, let's. It started to drizzle. Let's get out the drizzle. Right. Uh, basically, what I did. Um, I'm not pointing the camera at myself uh, because my gums are sore today, so I haven't put my teggy pegs in yet. But basically, um, I read up about the loom and how it works. The Aprilia headlights don't function if the engine isn't running has to produce a certain amount of voltage um, so underneath the headlight cowl right by the side of the instruments is a little relay and I looked at the wiring diagram and it was a light relay and what happens is uh, when you flick the light switch it will put the side light circuit on because um, obviously that's a part light as well but if it's not seeing the bike running or producing you know over 12 volts whatever it is um, the relay doesn't throw the current over to the headlight it's kind of a start protection thing as well so it's not drawing any uh, amperage when you try and start because this thing takes a hell of a lot out of the battery when it starts a big single it's got an automatic decompression but it's still quite an effort um, there's a bit of knocking and banging going along because mother and uncle barnyard are in there sticking a new freezer in and having a move about so they're banging about and my i think my neighbor's dad is destroying their shed so that's what you can hear banging so yeah um when the bike's started you can have the light switch on uh, and start the bike but they recommend you not do that so when the bike's running um obviously it trips the relay sends the current to the headlight because I tested the bulbs and they were all working um, so I had a look at the relay and there was a bit of corrosion um, about the same sort of corrosion that I've seen on the rest of the bike and it's it's just like a dulling of the contacts it's not horrible green furry and you know falling apart Ooh, it's starting to rain I best get Phyllis in um, but it, it, it was like all the contacts were tarnished and they were dark in colour. So I just gave the relay a going over with a little emery board, nail file. Uh, same as did with the rear lights and all that lot. And they're all working. They're all working fine. So I've uh, dropped a bit of anti-corrosion on all the contacts. Uh, I've got the indicators in. The indicators are original Aprilia. Um, and it was, I think it was about 85 quid for the set. And... Uh, believe it or not you cannot for love nor money get these front ones other than from Aprilia you'll see the odd left hand one or the odd right hand one but you'll never see a pair for sale um, funnily enough the rear indicators even though they're from Aprilia they're generic to a lot of bikes and you'll know what I mean if I show you a picture of one I know they're on Aprilia's I know they're on a lot of other bikes because the end connector is like a block with a um, a, like a dowel on it and I've seen it before on a few other bikes uh, not on Japanese bikes as such but on uh, like European and I think Triumph are the same so yeah uh, I ordered tyres yesterday I've gone for a pair of new Conti Goes from M&P and I forget how much they were about uh, they weren't that bad actually they weren't that bad because I've done it over three instalments because you do it through I do it through PayPal one in three so three instalments um, and I, f I forget what the pair was when I can remember I'll, I'll bleep 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 the price down um, but what I'm going to do now I've got to put a drain pipe on the expansion tank 
because that is missing and I can then refit the radiator guard. Uh, there isn't a sump guard for it which is only a plastic decorative item anyway. Um, I might try and find one. I've also got to try and find a chain guard but as there are no rear foot pegs uh, it doesn't really matter as far as an MOT is concerned. So for now uh, until the tyres are fitted and it can go for an MOT and what have you. Um, I think that is it uh, for Project Frankie. All goals have been achieved that I set out to do. It's running uh, apart from tyres, it's now roadworthy. Won't know till we test ride in it. Um, I did take it up my mother, uh, mother's private test track <laughs> the other day and it rode okay. So yeah, we'll see. But we will have more Frankie content in a while. But uh, for now, I think what we're going to do is uh, decide what we're going to do with Nibbler. Because I, I went to go and see John the other day and I missed him. And uh, we're going to crack on uh, doing the fork seals on the VFR. Start rebuild the front end upon that, get the brakes on it. Um, we'll do service on the engine. The air filter is actually, that looks new, that looks good. But the um, we'll drop the oil on it, do the filter on that. Um, and then uh, that needs tyres obviously um, might let Uncle Steve sort those out we'll, we shall see because I don't know whether he wanted to powder coat the wheels um, so yeah that is what is happening in the shed of alarmingly good ideas or is it good ideas and bad execution who knows anyway guys this is your quick catch up thank you very much for watching liking sharing subscribing um, I bought myself a sample hoodie the other day in white because I intend to uh, do a couple of shows this year and I don't know whether I'll attend on a bike or take Rosie or something like that but we've got uh, is it Rusty Bull I think I intend to go to that um, because my years past should get me in and even if it doesn't you know um, a lot of people that I know on YouTube and stuff like that are going to go and it'd be good to actually meet them in person and show them what a complete arsehole I am in person. Anyway, uh, the other plan with the Pegasso is I've took the uh, the rack and uh, top box mount off the ZX10. That now has its turbo Cosworth spoiler on the back um, because I intend to fit the top box on the uh, box top box on the Pegasso. Um, as for paint and stuff like that, I'm going to leave it ratty as shit for now. Uh, because one it appeals to me and two when I'm going around the outside of some wobbly fat git on an R1 on an island because he hasn't got the balls um, it will amuse me so when I park up and I've got a ratty shitter uh, did I just say that out loud hmm bye